Hi YouTube, so this is just a quick video about an idea I had for uh, a little gadget here to make measuring between holes a bit easier. So I've been trying to make a case, modelling this uh, case to be 3D printed uh, for this little oscilloscope. And the idea is the four little pegs inside the case here will locate in the holes on the circuit board. So to get that measurement I was trying to measure between these holes with my calipers and finding it quite awkward. It's quite quite difficult to actually uh, get an accurate measurement of the distance between the hole centers when there's nothing in the holes. Uh, you can try and do it by by eye. You can try and measure in between the from the near edges of the holes and then add on the diameter of the hole or whatever but um, it'd be quite nice to have just an easy way to locate the exact centre of the two holes and get a measurement between them. So this was the idea I came up with was just to make a little gadget like this that fits over the jaws of the calipers. So the cone on this end locates in the hole and the centre line of the, uh, the, the cone at the end there lines up exactly on the inside with the flat face at the top there, so that locates on the jaw of the caliper. So the jaw of the caliper will be exactly in line with the centre of the hole when you put the, the cone into the hole that you want to measure. So I just pop these two gadgets on the jaws of the calipers. Just make sure it's zeroed first actually, That's, uh, so just make sure it's zeroed when the jaws are closed these two gadgets on. So now the distance on the caliper 20.15 is exactly the distance between the center centers of these two cones, these two points. So the idea is I take the uh, take the two cones, pop it into the, the two holes that I want to measure like that. So those cones are now centered on those two holes and I get the measurements 106.9, so I'm going to guess that should be 107. We'll adjust it to 107, just see how that feels. Feels nice and well centered in the two holes there. So I'm going to say that's 107 millimeters. And I've got a lot more confidence doing it that way than by trying to do it by eye or some other method. It's nice and easy. So I'm going to update my uh, CAD model with 107 and print out a new version of this case and we'll see if it fits because this one those pins on the right don't quite line up so I've got to do it again several hours later and the uh, updated case has printed with these pins now at 107 millimeters as measured with the uh, gadgets and if I drop this in the case let's see if they line up now yeah so 107 was a good measurement and that was a lot easier having done that try to do that genuinely doing the best I could to measure that uh, without the special gadgets and getting it wrong at least twice uh, that's really really helped so um, there you go maybe that's useful maybe it's already exists I don't know I did a bit of a search but I couldn't find anything like this online already so um, maybe that's a useful addition to some people's toolkit I'll put a link to the on shape document uh, in the description if you want to have a look at that. You might need to adjust the uh, thickness of the, to adjust the model for the thickness of your jaws, depending on what calipers you have etc. But uh, you can use my model as a, a starting point. So yeah, let me know what you think, if that's uh, a good idea, if it's something that already exists, if it's not useful, if you've got a better way of measuring between whole centres, let me know. But uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Drop us a like and a comment and uh, I'll see you next time.